Welcome to this demonstration of how to migrate your layer of protection analysis information from PHA Pro into Bowtie XP. So we start with a sample LOPA study. This is one that literally comes out of the box with PHA Pro. So that's pre-populated and we're going to use that for the demonstration. This example has five separate nodes based around a typical distillation column. So we've got some useful information here that we're going to use for our LOPA. Uh, one of the useful features of PHA Pro is you can link or mirror the HAZOP information, the causes and the consequences and safeguards into the LOPA worksheet. So causes become initiating events, uh, safeguards either become IPLs or conditional modifiers. In this case here, um, using LOPA best practice, safeguards are challenged to make sure they're independent, designed, effective and maintained. And only if they meet those safeguards are they considered to be suitable IPLs. The analysis, and this is um, again out of the box, this hasn't been customized at all. So the LOPA methodology in PHA Pro calculates a number of things, mitigated event likelihood, uh, residual probability of failure and demand and risk reduction factor based on the category severity. It also allows you to categorize the IPLs, whether they're uh, an alarm, pressure relief device, etc. And that reminds you to assign an appropriate PFD, not to be too optimistic with the performance. So we've created customized export tool. Uh, so you can um, set this up in your template and then it allows you to export the LOPA worksheet data into uh, a bow tie format. That goes into a spreadsheet, uh, a familiar Excel format. From there, we've created a Visual Basic or a macro um, that runs to convert the import data into a format that Bowtie XP will recognize. Here, it asks you that, do you want to include safeguards or not? You may want to exclude them for clarity, or you may want to include them to demonstrate that you've actually discussed them. But if they come across in the migration, they won't form part of the calculation. We've put some timer in here that gives you an indication how long it's taken to execute. This is a real simple example. Longer, more detailed analyses will take longer, but it's, it's in the order of seconds. It's not hours or days. So you're saving a lot of time and you're certainly saving any um, problems with um, copy and paste errors. You may want to delete the, the import data sheet. You don't need to. You may want to reuse it, but this gives you the option to delete it. So here we've got a standard Bowtie XP screen. Normally when you open it up, you've got a sample, simple Bowtie. We've just deleted it to make the diagram clearer. For, for this tool, you need to have advanced, which uses scrapbook functionality, and you need to have a local license to do the calculations. So once you've opened up scrapbook, simply open the data source file and go to the location of your um, Excel file. So that's the output after you've run the macro. You have to make sure that the file is closed. It won't migrate if the Excel file is open. If you don't delete the um, import data, um, it will come across in the migration. It's not a problem. You don't need to do anything with it. It's, it's just messy, but um, you can delete it once it's been migrated across or delete it before it comes across. And if you want to delete it, it will remind you, are you sure you want to delete it? Um, so it's a, a double check to make sure you're not getting rid of any valuable information. 
if you only import the the data the sorry the import without the data you'll just be left with here um, two groups so each group is a, essentially a node so depending how many LOPA scenarios you have within each node each LOPA scenario will be a bow tie or hazard and you simply drag the groups from the scrapbook into the hierarchy or the tree view and that will create new groups within your case file from there within your case file you've got a bow tie per LOPA scenario and you can see here the familiar components you've got safeguards if you've elected to import them you've got IPLs and you've got conditional modifiers but see how we've also got the LOPA actions imported as posted fundamentally you're taking across all the information you're not losing any of the information but what you are gaining is visual knowledge and what the tool within Bowtie XP allows you to do is like you have on the PHA Pro LOPA worksheet you can have multiple threats and multiple consequences so it's not a one-to-one -one, it's actually a many-to-many -many relationship we can um, as part of the migration copy across consequence categories um, one through five in this example and those consequences are assigned target event likelihoods or category frequencies which are used to determine if you've met the risk reduction requirement you can hide the safeguards or not import the safeguards either way they don't form part of the calculation they're assumed to have a probability of failure of one and the dual calculation functionality in Bowtie XP allows you to do sensitivity analysis for example what happens if my frequencies and probabilities are 50 percent higher will I still meet my criteria am I still safe thank you for watching this brief overview we think it's an important tool and we look forward to any feedback please visit the website on the screen thank you